Hi, Joe Haney here from IAC with another tip of the month. This is part five of how moisture can get inside your bag house. If you've watched the first four parts of this tip of the month series, you've done a lot of work to this bag house. You've sealed up some doors, you found leaks in your ductwork or in welds, um, you evaluated even your own process to try and keep moisture out of that bag house. Now we're going to be all the way down at the bottom of the bag house. The fifth way moisture can get inside your bag house is at your airlock uh, at the bottom of the dust collector. That airlock is designed to evacuate material from the bag house, but it's also designed to give you a mechanical seal at the bottom of the bag house. And when that doesn't happen, it will allow moisture to come into that bag house with outside air. It may not be, uh, seem like too big of a problem, but when that happens, it can react with the dust that may be in your hopper. It can lead to lots of bridging or material hardening issues, which then will artificially shrink the size of that hopper and just kind of lead to compounding issues with getting that dust out of the bag house. The issue could be simple. That airlock may need, may need to be replaced. It may be old. If it's a rotary valve, the rotating vanes may be worn down and out of spec, allowing uh, air to get by them. Maybe it's a double tipping valve and there's something wrong with the actuator that's not allowing that tipping valve to close off. It needs to be sealed up and there's lots of ways that you can troubleshoot that uh, and it's things that we'd like to talk to you about. So if you think that this might be a problem, uh, please give IAC a call and we can talk to you about this issue, which is our fifth reason that moisture can get inside your bag house. I'm Joe Haney from IAC. There's a phone number at the bottom of the screen that you can call. Thanks for watching our tip of the month.